Welcome to Daytime Dialogues. BC is slowly catching up. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, most application platforms comes with a uh, you know a long list of stuff that is um, no most commonly used, uh, and also dialogues. So if you take Windows, we got you know there's dialog for selecting a color, there's dialog for opening a file, for saving a file, um, for entering specific data. For instance, a, a, a time entry. Um, and we have the same thing on, on, on multiple platforms where, where these often referred to as common dialogues uh, are available. But within the world of NAV and now BC, it's not really something that has ever been part of the core product. Sure, there have been a, a forms when it was still forms, but there have been pages here and there that kind of would work as a generic uh, something. Uh, but usually they, they came along because like select a field uh, dialog, I think came with the config package uh, functionality and so on. Um, which means that it was kind of tied into that. So you could not, even though it might be generic, you cannot depend on it staying generic. Uh, so it was, it was sometimes not as wise to actually use those pages because they were they were intended for a different content uh, context. Um, but now with the uh, with the Rapid, rapidly expansion of, of the system applications app, where where anything anything that goes into system application is not intended for a specific purpose and cannot have any relationship with base objects, uh, uh, base application objects, mean that that now Microsoft is actually starting to add some of these features. Um, so I thought let's explore one of them. And the one I want to explore today is, as the video title defined, is the uh, the date uh, thing. So I just created a the the usual starter thing here, and um, what we have is a uh, let's call it the date time dialog. It's a page called date time dialog. Um, and what can that do? Let's let's figure out. Um, maybe we should start by actually just running it. How about run modal? Boom. How is that? So let's see the dialog without us doing anything. We get a edit a date time dialog date time. That's it. And we can do something in here. See, actually, that's interesting because so this is a daytime dialog, which inside it has a <laughs> embedded date dialog, but it does not have a time dialog. So if I type twenty seven in here, I just get something ugly, and and there's really no elegant way. I can do eleven; that will give me eleven. I can do twenty two, and that will give me. In this case, I think my computer is configured for AM PM. Uh, I get an OK, a cancel, and we get it multiple times because I did it on on open page. Anyway, um, so what can we do? So clearly we need to run this, and we probably need to run it in a if they time dialog equal action OK, I think. What was it? I think it was an OK. Then do something. So what can we do before we actually run this? So there is, so we can say use a date only. I think that's interesting because maybe you don't, you're not asking for time. You're just asking for a date. So if we say use date only, then we only have the date uh, dialog here. So that is pretty good. Um, and just for fun, let's add a breakpoint and send the click 
Okay, and uh, there's nothing for us to walk into. That's okay. Uh, so you date only. Um, that's pretty good. Then we have a set date or set date time. So let's put a input current date time into this. So I think with that we can actually default something. Oh, hang on. I think we got a breakpoint here. We put a breakpoint. Let's get rid of the breakpoint. So now we can see that this is on the 3rd of July. And in the evening, uh, it's pitch black almost outside. Um, it still just says edit daytime dialogue. That's kind of annoying. Um, is there a way we can change the caption? Probably not, because I'm not sure how to change the caption. All right, daytime dialogue. So if we were in date only format, we could do use set date. Uh, what other functions do we have? I don't think we had any other AL function. We can, we can, we can perhaps, uh, uh, let's do here. Then we can do F12 and look what we have. We have a set date, get date, use date only, set date, get date. That's pretty much it. So fairly simple. So after this, we can do message you selected percentage one, and then we'll do date time dialog on get date time. See how that works. So I will do August 8 at 5 a.m. You select the August 8 at 5 a.m. So, you know, pretty convenient. Uh, I would love if there were a way to do set date time dialog. Uh, no. Are we able to set the caption? Maybe we are able to set the caption. Let's just try that. Um, what date do you go on vacation? With it, what date time? See if this works. That works, so we can set the caption. Yeah, there you go. How elegant is that? So nitpicking now we just need to get rid of the edit then this is a pretty good dialogue uh, I would love for the, you know for us to have a, a way for users to a time picker inside the time daytime dialogue um, but other than that I think uh, this is pretty good and remember so one one thing that's very interesting about the system application is that it's open source and there's actually a video here on the channel where we added some functionality to one of the code units the uh, base 64 code unit and, and followed that process so go subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because i would be grateful actually um, so, so if you have an idea to make this a better dialogue, uh, you can actually download the source code. You can make your changes. And when you're happy with that, you could submit a pull request to Microsoft. And if your code is good, which I know it will be because it's made by you, then Microsoft will accept it. And you have added your small footprint to, uh, to, uh, to Business Central, which is pretty cool. Um, so go do that right after you have checked out this video selected for you by the almighty YouTube uh, algorithm. Uh, I will see you there. It's a very good video. Take care. Bye.